Geologic processes that occur beneath the ground are extremely difficult to observe. We can't see what's going on beneath us, so we have to describe it. As a result, let us use this simulation activity to visualize the events occurring in the Earth's crust. Let us conduct the first activity. These are the materials you need. Raw egg white. A shallow pan. You may use a plate as an alternative and boiled water in a glass jar or bottle. First, separate the yolk from the egg white. You will be using only the egg white and pour it in a shallow pan. Then, transfer your boiled water to a glass jar or a bottle and place it in the middle of the pan. After, observe the changes in the egg white. Guide question. What did you notice on the egg white near the glass jar with hot water? What do you think caused that change? A thin layer of egg white in contact with the jar has cooked and changed texture. It has become white and rubbery. Second question. Did you observe any change on the egg white far from the hot glass jar? How can you explain this observation? The jar of water represents an igneous intrusion. The cooked egg white represents the metamorphic oreo, and the unchanged egg white models unchanged country rock. The igneous intrusion is, of course, always hotter than the country rock. This simulation can then lead to discussion about how contact with extreme heat can alter the texture of existing rocks. Now, let's come to the second activity. Here are the materials you need. Two rulers and sticks or a listing thing with varying sizes. First, drop the sticks onto an even surface and let them take a different direction or orientation. Using two rulers, place on either side of the sticks, pull them toward the center while trapping the sticks in the middle. Guide questions. The sticks represent the minerals present in the rock. What changes did you observe on the sticks when you pulled the rulers together towards the middle? The sticks was forced to align between the two moving rulers. In the activity, the rulers represent the tectonic forces that push rocks. What can you infer from this activity about the minerals and rocks when undergoing the same forces? When two tectonic plates move close to each other, this activity stimulates the formation of slate, wherein the tiny flaky clay minerals in a mudstone or shale are realigned at right angles to the lateral forces. In this process, can you name the factor responsible for the changes that occurred? The movement of the ruler or the force from the moving tectonic plates caused these changes. These also include factors like pressure and heat. In this activity, the sticks represent the microscopic flaky minerals in mudstone or shale. Putting two rulers at each side and pushing them towards the center forced the sticks or the minerals to line up parallel to the moving rulers. Hence, simulating the formation of slate, where the tiny flaky clay minerals in a mudstone or shell to realign at the right angles to the lateral forces. Such forces could be found near destructive plate margins in between two approaching continents. In practice, the temperature also rises at the same time. This makes the clay minerals recrystallize to form new minerals although there is no analogy to this in the stimulation. This slate will split along the planes made by the new minerals more easily than along the original bedding. This property is called rock leverage.